Thank you for tuning in to another Simply Outrageous Math lesson. Today we're going to learn how to multiply a three-digit number by a three-digit number. And the first number we're going to start off today multiplying two numbers are 213 times 121. Okay, we first start off by multiplying these first digits, 3 times 1, and that would give us 3. And then we do a cross multiplication for our next step, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 3 equals 6, and we'll add those together. 7. So we have 3 here and we have 7 here. And our next step to multiply is going to be 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 3 equals 3, and then 1 times 2 equals 2. So add those together, that's 2, 5, 7. So we have a 7 as our second, our third number there. I'll just clear this out. And then our next step is to multiply 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. So we'll add those together. Answer here is 4. Five. Next step, we multiply two times one is two. Answer is twenty five thousand seven hundred seventy three. And we will go through this problem again to make sure that you have the steps in place. Okay. We first multiplied three times one, gave us three. That's gonna be our first number here. And then we multiplied one times one that was 1, then cross multiply 2 times 3, gave us 6, add 1 plus 6, that gave us 7. And then we cross multiply here, 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 2 gives us 2, and that is 7. Then we multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Next answer here. And then our last step is 2 times 1. That equals 2. So our answer is 25,773. We went through that one fairly quickly, so we will try another one so that you can get a better hang of it. Right in this example, we're going to multiply 503 times 102. Right, we first start off 
multiplying 3 times 2, that would be 6. So that would be our first number here. And then we cross multiply 0 times 2 is 0. And 0 times 3 is 0. So 0 plus 0, of course, will give us 0. Next step here, we're going to multiply 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 3 is 3. 0 times 0, of course, is it's going to be plus 0. So we have 13 here. We're going to actually use our 3, and we're going to put a 1 up here to carry our 1 for our next step. Okay, and our next step is, to clear this up a little bit. Our next step is going to be to multiply, cross multiply the 5, 5 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, that would give us 0, so our number here is 0, but we had our 1, so we need to add our 1. So that would actually be 1. Remember the 1 that we carried here. So that is 1. And our last step here is to multiply 5 times 1, that would be 5. So our answer, that was 5, our answer is 51,306. And we're going to go through this scenario one more time to make sure that you understand the steps that are involved here to get each of our numbers. Okay, we first multiply 3 times 2 gave us 6, first answer. Then we cross multiply 0 times 2 at 0, and then 0 times 3, 0, so that would be our next answer once we add 0 to 0. Then we cross multiply 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 3 is 3, and 0 times 0 is 0, so 10 plus 3 plus 0 equals 13. We're going to use the units digit, which is 3, and then we carried our 1 here. Next step was cross multiplying 5 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0. That equals 0, but then we add the carried of the 1, and so we have a 1 here as our next number. Last step is to multiply 5 times 1 equals 5. So our answer is 51,306. This is how you multiply a three-digit number times a three-digit number. Thank you for tuning in to another Simply Outrageous Math lesson.